Hey everybody, Rose Matter here, and welcome to my reaction and discussion for episode 13, aka the final episode of season 1 of Made in Abyss. So in the last episode, uh, we got a little bit more of a backstory into Nanachi, who uh, has a pretty tragic backstory from what we could see the little snippets of. Uh, there was little little hints and little like flashbacks, uh, so Nanachi seemed to be uh, working with one of the White Whistles, the one... I, I, you think I remember his name by now? He hasn't been formally introduced yet, but his name starts with a B, and people in the comments were telling me that things get really bad once he becomes, like, a more central figure. Like, there's been hints, you know, Ozen has said uh, that he's a bad dude. Um, it seems like he runs experiments on on people, so not a, not a good person. Um, so Nanachi... Uh, was kind of working with with him, uh, you know, more information about what a hollow is. So a hollow is somebody who was corrupted by the uh, the sixth layer, and uh, their attempt at ascending from the sixth layer, and uh, they become hollows if they, I guess, like lose their humanity and they're transformed in a way. And while Nanachi's backstory is bad, it's not nearly as bad as a new character who's introduced named Midi, who uh, was a girl. Uh, a human girl at one point and it's just turned into like this blob and Nanachi said that like um, people either retain their humanity like they do uh, I did make that mistake I was referring to Nanachi as a girl but their gender or you know whatever was not explicitly stated so that my assumption was just that it um, you know they were a girl so I will try my best to refer to them as they since uh, you know it hasn't been confirmed uh, what Nanachi is, but Mini definitely was referred to as a girl, and I'm assuming that she was experimented on by this white whistle, this bad guy, uh, and didn't turn out very well uh, for her, because um, Nanachi said, like, some people, like, when they um, are brought from the sixth layer up, they either re retain their humanity like they do, or they become what Mitty is, and Mitty seems to have an interesting attachment to Rico, who is doing much better. Uh, Nanachi, thankfully, was able to uh, get Rico back to normal, although she is still unconscious for the time being. And there was also, there was a whole, actually, lot that happened in the last episode. I feel like I'm just kind of glazing over a lot of stuff. There was the whole thing about, like, the birthday curse uh, that are affecting people on the surface. Uh, the little boy who is at the orphanage seemed to be afflicted by it, but then it just magically went away, so, like, what's the deal with that? Uh, there was the whole thing about Reg getting some of his, like, little bit of a memory back about him uh, talking to Liza or uh, mourning Liza, so there's a connection there. Um, and it culminated at the end with Nanachi and Reg working together to learn how to, um, you know, overcome the foes from, you know, the, this layer, and, you know, Nanachi kind of teaching Reg, like, how to fight, and it ended with them asking Reg for one favor, uh, and that was to basically mercy kill Midi. So, that's not, a, that's a little bit of a bummer, for sure, and now we're at this last episode, and I'm wondering if this is going to be the backstory of, like, what happened to Midi and Nanachi, because the episode ended with, like, Nanachi and Midi escaping. I'm assuming uh, that White Whistle guy's, like, I don't know if he has a lab or whatever, wherever he's doing experiments, and, um, you know, Nanachi saying, like, I won't let anything happen to you, or, like, we have to get away from, from this, so maybe there'll be the backstory to that, but anyway, I have... My goodness, I've just been going on and on. You guys just want to see me watch the episode. So let's go ahead, let's watch this episode. And um, considering it's the season finale, I imagine it's probably going to be pretty shocking. So let's get into it. Oh boy, we're going... Okay, so this is... All right, we're doing like a flashback of everything that's happened. This really nice song that plays. I really like this this specific song that plays.
And that was, I think I was saying, I feel like Nanachi does want to leave and wants to go with them, but is taking care of Midi, so they can't. It's just like that moment where Reg's smile just slowly goes away. And we've got an extra long episode this time, so... I'm so curious about, like... If it's going to just be a flashback episode, if it's going to be, like, maybe... Showing stuff that's happening on the surface. A little bit of flashback with Nanachi and Midi. And then, like, maybe will Reg be able to go through with it? Also, is Rico gonna wake up anytime soon? She's, like, been completely out through all of this and has no idea what's happening. Imagine Rico's gonna have quite the reaction when she wakes up. Uh, but, like I said, there was that moment where she was, like, unconscious, and then it's like she was all, like, ensnared in, like, goop, which I'm assuming is, like, the curse or whatever, and is looking from her, like, mind's eye into the outside and seeing Mid or Midi. So, like, I assume that she, like, has some idea. But yeah, that's the whole thing is, like, is Midi, like, interested in Rico or, like, drawn to her because Rico also, like, has the curse? I don't know. I really should learn that guy's name. I'm assuming maybe we're gonna, like, learn some more about him and hopefully I will remember his dang name. Oh, the episode with Liza and Enrico, that's really cute. The Challengers. Oh, he just like, oh, right, <laughs> that's right. Passed out because he used the Annihilator. Finally, I found it. I wonder, I said, I think in the last episode about like, I feel like the only, like, she's, they saw the Annihilator and uh, was like, that's the thing that can kill Midi. Cause I'm sure Nanachi has probably tried, maybe tried to kill Midi a bunch of times and wasn't able to for whatever reason. Oh, kiss que se? Okay. <gasps> Okay, that's not a cheap before they became the rabbits hollow. That's whole thing, but like people are just drawn in like, to explore the abyss. Oh, I'm so cute. Aww. There he is. I, I, like, he's definitely was doing, he was definitely doing experiments on children. Definitely. And I'm pretty sure whatever he did probably turned Midi into what that thing, you know, what Midi is now. They basically took, like, orphan children. Bondrod. I probably said that wrong. Probably, like, taking these kids that have nothing else going for them, being like, I will... I will take you to, like, you know, I'll allow you to explore, and then experimenting on them. I wonder if we're... I'm assuming we're going to get to see Midi before they became what they are now. Okay, so they're back. Oh, that's gotta be Midi. So they were brought up from the, uh... Where they were that looked like the little holes that were from... Which one? Was it the second layer? Third layer? So they were at the orphanage, uh, up at the top at some point. Sea of Corpses. Okay, the fifth layer. We have not seen this yet. 
that sounds like a fun place to be, doesn't it? I feel like these kids are all going to become a sea of corpses. Nanachi, I guess, was uh, made of certain stuff that allowed them to be able to survive. Granted, not a kid anymore, some weird rabbit thing, but... Damn it, I had a feeling this is what this episode was going to be. It's not going to be pleasant. It's not going to be good. Aw, Mitty. <laughs> oh, so like so shy and Mitty's like so outgoing. Or I wonder if like the thing where they're the holes, that was the slums, right? So they were in the slums. Oh, <laughs> oh, Mitty, look at you! You've got like that same sparkle that Rico has. Oh, oh! I wonder if that's why Nanachi doesn't like to be touched. There's always like a little bit shy. Aww. Just, like, knowing the fate that's going to, like, befall them is just tragic. Like, you could just see... You can see the sadness is coming. They don't know yet, but you know. I wonder if, like, once Rico wakes up, Nanachi will, like, be reminded of Midi. Like, that same, just kind of, like, that energy. <laughs> it's crazy to think like that's gonna be where like Reg and Rico are almost there they're almost at the fifth layer so they will probably encounter I've already forgotten his name <laughs> that white whistle sometime soon Aww. I just love you could like the mannerisms are exactly the same as as them now. Oh, these these children they have no idea. Like and then they probably never see them again, do they? Oh, they're the only ones left now. Oh, jeez. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Bundrod, Bundrod. I'll just call him Bone Man. <laughs> He's got like that bony, like, 
claw thing as a white whistle. Immediately, you look at him, you see that white whistle, it's just like, that dude is up to no good. Oh gosh, like now she's probably gonna go find Mitty and just see her in the midst of turning into that thing. Oh shit, they're gonna learn about the truth of everything, probably go to save Mitty. Is it, are they like testing? Is he testing like the, I'm not making use of them as humans, you see. Yeah, like experiments, like basically lab rats. Oh God, like what is he doing? Is he, is he experimenting on like the effects of, you know, the ascension? Like what, what is his purpose? What's he doing? Oh no, uh-oh. Oh gosh, and we're just gonna see her turn into that blob. Oh my goodness. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, gosh. Oh, they're gonna... S oh, Jesus. Well, I mean, we know that Nanachi is... Relatively gets out of it unscathed, but like... Oh, God. They're just right next to each other. Quickly go into the depth. Six layer just below us. Okay. Oh, Jesus. So that's what it is, is probably like, let's test the effects on children. Capable of forcing the curse all to one side. Okay. I feel like you don't regret it at all. What? Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Oh, God, you're a part of what will be hit with a curse. Wow. So it was just pure happenstance. It was just like, just happened to be on that side that the curse is going to be on. And like, not that she didn't, or Mitty didn't die, but I probably kind of wishes she had the thing she turned into. Oh god, we're gonna have to see it in, like, really disgusting, like, excruciating detail, aren't we? Of course we are. Oh god, yeah. Ugh. So... Yeah, that's exactly what Mitty, that was just all the discarded ones that didn't make it out alive. And that's what Mitty turned into, and I'm guessing, like, oh, and now that she just escaped with Mitty being like, I'm not gonna let you. Oh my gosh. Oh. And now they're ascending. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Oh my god. Oh, the blood is just... Ugh. Oh, Jesus, kill me. Oh, God. Ugh. Ugh, just the... Oh, my gosh. Ugh. Ugh, Jesus. That's... Oh, God. Like, I knew Mitty looked pretty horrifying, but somehow the in-between stage when you could still see she was a human was even worse. Oh, my gosh. 
And that's why he kept Nanachi around, right? There was that flashback as like, oh, you're something different. Oh my god. Jesus. Yeah, just horrible that uh, he kept kept them around after knowing what he does. Okay, the curse that she received. She received twofold. Made her oh Incapable of dying. That's what I, I figured. I was like, I bet Nanachi tried a whole bunch of times to kill Midi, to put her out of her misery, and wasn't able to. Oh my god. Gee. Ah! Jesus. Oh. Oh, he's just crying, too. Oh god, that's horrible. Like, what a horrible life. And that's probably when Nanachi's like, I gotta get her out of here. And drawing pictures of her of what she used to look like so that you didn't forget. Jeez, poor Mitty. And that that's it. Probably saw Rags Annihilator and was like, this is the thing that might be able to finally kill be able to kill Mitty. Oh, yeah, that was rough. That was rough. Yeah, I can imagine why Nanachi feels so... Uh, so, like, guilty. Oh shit, that's right. Didn't uh, Nanachi said too? Oh god. Oh jeez. I was thinking, I was like, Nanachi said before, right? About, like, uh, Midi is impervious to poison. And that's how she realized that she was trying to poison her to kill her. Oh shit, so she was like killing... That's... <gasps> That's what all those are for. She was using cave raiders to like, wow, ba ba ba, holy cow. One of Minnie's eyes was squashed by it. And that's the part of her that didn't regenerate. I wonder how long it's been. It's tough to say, like, how long have they been down here there for, like... And didn't... Midi said, like, if she dies, her soul will go to Nanachi, right? Or something like that? How's Rico also? Rico's still unconscious, I imagine. Yeah, I want to know why.
I feel like Nanshi wants to go with them. You know, it's like... It's just like having to look after Midi. I'm not going to say it was like a, a burden, but... <laughs> I don't know why I find, like... I find that so funny. It's so tragic, like, it's seeing what happened to Midi and then just... It's just like a really affectionate kitty cat. <laughs> And then just after that horrifying revelation, and we're back to, like, nice music and regular... <laughs> and now we're back to the humor of, like, oh no, I've got to eat bad food. <laughs> She's like, yeah, you do it. See how easy it is. Make fun of my cooking. That would be like if I tried to cook. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, after I hear that, the last thing I would do is eat it, but I guess if you're the one who prepared it, you want to see for yourself. <laughs> Ugh. Gross. And they're like, yeah, why don't you just let me cook next time? Maybe that's what, like, Reg is thinking. It's just, like, uh, now that she's saying that Mitty, like, doesn't really have true humanity and yet is still reading her stories and being so kind with her. I, deep down, I think she does know that there's something in there. She did say it herself, like, I believe her soul is in there, but her living is just suffering. Ugh. Right? Yeah, like they're, if she's unable to die, like that's. Yeah, what a life. You can't die, but you can still feel pain. Is that what he thinks that well, that she's gonna do? I don't know if I wonder if that was a look of like surprise that he was that he would think that or 
maybe the fact that, like, he was bang on. No, maybe, maybe Reg was right. It's just, oh shit, how, imagine that, like, Nanachi was only literally keeping, like, staying alive just to look after Midi, and then as soon as Midi dies, Nanachi's like, all right, no reason for me to be here. I hope that means they'll all, I hope that means that they will all be together, that would be nice. Nanachi would definitely be a good addition to the team, she knows how to repair people, smart, Oh. Oh, just like putting all the flowers and everything, just final resting place. Ugh. What if... What if Reg uses the incinerator and it doesn't work? Not actually, don't say that, because Rice would be like, Hey, we had a deal. Don't say it won't be long before we see each other again. Maybe it's just because of the soul. The soul of Midi might go. All right. Please, I, I feel bad to say it, but I hope it works. Put Mitty out of her misery. Mitty's, like, I hate to say, like, oddly cute in a way. It's just the little sounds. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Huh. Do you think he's gonna do be able to do it after that? Ugh. I guess so. Is Mitty gonna survive that? Oh, nope, guess not. Wow, completely gone. Everything's gone, wow. I mean, that's what it does, but it still surprised me. Damn it, I can't stop. Ah. For a character I literally just met like two episodes ago, I think it's also Nanachi too, is just like being so, you know, what's the word I'm thinking of? Like seemingly so blase about everything and like emotionless. And he's like, I'm gonna comfort you and I'm also gonna like pass out for about two hours, so, oh. Oh, that was rough. Oh, Liza. Okay, so we're gonna get the backstory. What's this about? I feel like there was some reason that Reg. I felt like Reg was on a mission to find Rico. I feel like, and the, the fact that like he protected her instinctively. I feel like there's that connection. Like that was he left. He lost his memories, but I feel like there was some reason for him to like. I have to find her. Rico. I wonder if Rika will be, not a replacement for Mitty, but a reason for, you know, Nachi to keep going.
Oh, I just love the way that she's got her arm around Nanachi too. Oh, yeah, I think. Um, <laughs> uh, Rico, you're getting a little. Is she like just drunk off of the? <laughs> Is it because she's just really soft? Is she in love with? <laughs> Is it... It's just the fuzziness. Just has everybody all attracted. <laughs> I mean, I would say it's a little lewd what Rico's doing. Is it literally just because like not that she's like a basically a big stuffed animal? It's nice to see after that moments that it's being a little bit happier again. Like, this is the best thing I've ever had. Well, didn't Nanachi said it themselves, right? I've never had anything good to eat. And then, that's right, there's the whole backstory about, like, oh, I've only ever eaten out of garbage. So, yeah, I can imagine how amazing this must be. Nanachi's like, e I have a new reason to live now. Amazing food. <laughs> oh yeah, so Rico does yeah, have memories of that. Oh and we went right from happy to sad again. Okay, we're gonna get into this. Yeah, it's almost like she was, like, affected by the same thing Mitty had, to a degree. And that crying definitely sounds human. So that's like she saw Mitty's soul, I guess. Oh god, eyeball touching eyeball. Oof, nope. So she did get to see. She simply left. Oh, that's horrifying. Oh, hopefully that is like a thing, like there was her soul in there.
<laughs> I love the fact that he's like the robot and yet he gets more flustered than she does. She doesn't seem to care at all. Like, there are some spa treatments that do that, don't they? I don't know if I'd be able to do that, but like the fish that eat like the dead skin off your feet, I don't think I could do that. Too ticklish. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad, I'm glad we get a little bit of humor at least to kind of like end the episode on. <laughs> I love how she's not even flustered, she's just curious. <laughs> I guess it's oh are they cutting her oh are they oh that's right that's right now that she did say that those things are very painful to take out i guess it couldn't all be happy fun time anymore huh pretty gnarly scar looks badass though now that's certainly like if you manage to make it back to the surface that's certainly going to be a good story to tell about how you got that scar. It looks like she'll be maybe around here a little bit more because she's going to have to be at the best that she can be if they're going to go lower. Knowing that the next level is the Sea of Corpses. Oh yep. Yeah. I was saying, I was like, I knew that Nanachi probably saw that same thing happening and just was reminded about Midi. <laughs> oh my god, so cute. I just love how flustered they get. <laughs> Yay! That's what I was hoping for. I, I mean, I had a feeling that's the way it was going to end up going. There's nothing keeping... keeping them here anymore. <laughs> 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 I love it. It's like, not because I want to or anything. Oh, 
Well, that's going to be interesting because I'm imagining that uh, White Whistle's still down there. I wonder if they're going to encounter him. I'm sure they will. He's probably not going to be too happy about Nanachi running away from him. I mean, I know, I know Rico's whole point is like, and right to a degree, is going down into the depths, but I'm like, that's a pretty sweet setup that Nana, Nanachi's got there. I'm like, I, I'd be not really wanting to go. Aww. All right, so we've got a new ending here. So I will watch this through, because I imagine we might get some more, more stuff happening here. Preparation of preserved medicines. That's a good idea. Definitely a good idea. Get all your provisions. And Nanachi has a whole bunch of, uh, like, clave, uh, cave raider uh, equipment as well. Well, hopefully that thing will make it to the top. And people will know that Rico's still alive. Aww. It's good to see see them again. Procurement of water repellent materials. Oh, look at that. It's nice that they know, too, that they're still alive, because that was the thing they said. It's just like, when they send friends off, they're like, we never quite know if they're ever gonna, like, they probably won't make it. Ozen's probably just looking on and be like, there we go, that's Re that's Liza's kid. God, I'm just like, there's part of me like, please, like, what if it got right to the, you know, right up to the top and then at the last moment it didn't make it? Hey, what are the odds that he's the one who happened to find it of everybody? I wonder if like, did Rico write a bunch like this is what's happened so far? This is what, these are the things we've discovered. And those are the petals, right? Uh, the petals Eliza keeps being shown in that field. get to see what's in the package? Probably. Probably not. Oh, oh, all right. This is, we're going to get to see probably the bad dude, Bone Man. <laughs> I will, it's going to take me a long time to like remember his dang name. 
That's probably, that's MIDI. Oh, I knew it. I knew he was like, he's upset that one of his test subjects got away from him. All right. Wow. Okay. So that was, that was an intense episode and damn it got me to cry right at the end. <laughs> oh man, that was really good. All right. Well, that's going to be the end of uh, the first season. And uh, now I'm going to be, I guess after this, I'll have to watch the movie and, uh, be interesting to see like how like what's going to happen in the movie and then there's a whole other season after that all right well what is there to say except that was um, a very fitting episode to end the season it was emotional it was hard to watch uh, it gave you backstory into um, the characters and how they ended up where they are and also explaining motivation uh, man, oh man, like, I said, I think, last week about, like, I, like, oh, I feel like, you know, the next episode, the last episode is going to be going into what's happened to Nanachi and Midi before, you know, the present time, and I was right, and oh my gosh, like, I knew it was probably going to be rough, because you see the aftermath of what Midi became, and you know it's not going to be pleasant, but it was so much more horrifying than I could have expected, just to see just her slowly just turn into that blob and just in pain the whole time and Nanachi having to watch and oh it's just like you understand like oh yeah Ozen's a pretty rough around the edges person not very nice at all but at least she's not experimenting on children and turning them into those things so it could always be work worse but yeah ending with the um what I figured was going to happen was that you know, once Mitty was finally put out of her misery, and that was the other thing that was crazy too, is just like the whole thing about like, Mitty can't be killed by normal means and just seeing all of the effort Nanachi put into just trying to put her out of her misery and, and just failing and just feeling like she's just doomed to not be stuck with Mitty, like looking after her, but like having to try and give her the best life possible knowing that Midi is it's like I said just like a bunch of reflexes doesn't really might not quite understand everything but there's still the soul in there um but like not being able to do anything about it and oh that moment with Reg and and Midi and Nanachi just like mourning oh was so rough that was so rough but at least now Midi is hopefully put to peace hopefully like Nanachi said um her soul will find We'll find them and, you know, they can be reunited and and now the three of them can venture off. Although knowing what like the like the lower depths have in store for them, it's not going to be good, I imagine, especially uh, it's the the fifth layer is the next one. That's where um that uh White Whistle has his layer, it seems like, where he experiments. Yeah, he does, because like he was able to directly put people into the sixth layer and have them ascend. So um, and then it ended with him being like, oh, Nanachi, I just, I, I want to see you again. So it seems like they're going to have an altercation. Maybe Ray can take him out with the Annihilator wouldn't, or the Incinerator. Wouldn't that be nice? Uh, so with that uh, last episode, we are going to be moving on to the movie uh, next week. So to make up for this little bit of a shorter episode, uh, we have an extra long, extra long episode. So I have no idea what the movie is about. I don't know what is going to happen in it. Maybe that will be the whole thing centered around like their encounter with this white whistle as they descend into uh, the fifth layer. And that is something I'm excited to see is like Nanachi hopefully able to get their revenge on him for what he did to all those kids and to Midi. So yeah, man, man oh man. So TLDR, very intense episode all over the place in terms of the emotion. It finally got me to cry. <laughs> 13 episodes in and that maybe that won't be the last time who knows but anyway i hope you guys did enjoy my reaction to this episode and uh, stay tuned next week for the made in abyss movie i hope you're looking forward to that thank you for watching and i'll catch you next time until then bye special shout outs to my top tier patrons kiori makoto sm revealing storm tequila mockingbird asborn kennedy harry gaziff icognito 
Jared Fan, Joel Ustman, and Zoran Ether. <laughs>